In this example, we're going to look at an application that combines area and perimeter. And we have Wally fixing up his house and he wants to work on a flooring project. He has rooms A and C and hallway B. He wants to put bamboo flooring in A, B and C and he wants to put baseboards all around in each room and then of course in the hallway and then in this other room as well. So the question is how many square feet of flooring so that's going to be an area measure and how many feet of baseboards and that's going to be a perimeter measure so let's do these one at a time so what I've done down below is break out the individual rooms because it can get kind of confusing to work with the diagram here so be sure that you understand where all of the lengths came from. In each diagram I've indicated the width of the doorway. The doorways are two feet wide and the doorways won't impact the area but they will impact the perimeter. So let's look at area first. So the area and that's going to give us our square feet of flooring for A is going to be 15 times 10 and the units of course are all feet so I'm going to plug that in at the end so that's going to be 150 for B the area is 3 times the longest length here is 14 3 times 14 and that is 42 it's going to be square feet and for C it's 8 times 8 and that will be 64 so if I add those three areas 150 plus 42 plus 64 I get 256 and the units are square feet so we're gonna say that Wally should buy 256 square feet of flooring you might want to buy a little extra in case he messes up but that would be the minimum amount that he would need now let's look at the perimeter that's going to give us our feet that we need for the baseboards and we're going to have to be careful because we're going to need to eliminate the doorways they're not going to be any uh, baseboards across the open doorway so let's start over here with perimeter and for room A, that's going to be 15 plus 10 plus 15 plus 8. So let me write that out here. The units are going to be feet. Uh, let's see, 15 plus 8. And if I add those together, I get 48, and that is feet. For B, we have to be a little bit careful. I'm going to start down here with 4 and then I'm going to skip over this doorway and then 8 and then 3, 12 I'm going to skip this doorway and then add 3 if I add all of those together which would be 30 feet for the hallway so for room C I'm going to start with 6 and add 8 and 8 and 8 and then skip this doorway so it's 6 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 and if I add those together I get another 30 feet and that would be 108 feet total perimeter so we can say that Wally should buy 108 feet of baseboard material.